love it. <laughs> the most exciting package. Hey guys, so we're on our way back to Ikea, Peter's favorite spot. No. Yeah, you love it. <laughs> um, we're just gonna pick up a couple things that we need to finish up the studio. Um, some more of those big giant storage bins um, and some other little smaller storage cubbies that I can put into the workshop table so we can finish up some last minute pieces. Ikea Imagine like you mount this and this is for your boss. You mounted the level wrong. You can't <laughs> tell him. You can't tell him. Like it's straight. It's obviously not straight. Oh god. Only you would notice that. So I think these will be really good so I can put underneath my table and store all of my lids. $14.99, but then this one, what I was gonna get was 12 You do? See, I have a whole bunch of these. I mean, these are so good for storing stuff. Hey guys, so we're back from our little Ikea trip and I just thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I got. First thing is this cute little basket. I got three of them. Oh, actually no, I got four. I thought they were really cute for when I'm doing um, street fairs and pop-ups where maybe I can put my lip balms in here or my perfume oils. I thought they would look really cute displayed on the table like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to, well, maybe I'll try to pronounce the name it's not even on here, but I'll find the name and I'll leave it. I also got some twinkly lights, but this is for my patio. It's definitely not for in here. Although this would look cute. It might even look nice to decorate this around the table. Um, if I ever do like a pop-up, that might be cute. Then I got this nice little black um, picture frame. I thought this would be really cute for my press mentioning. Um, well and Good did a Latinx special for Hispanic Heritage Month, and I was one of them that they mentioned. So I thought it would be cute to put this on there and um, keep it up on my shelf. And one tub, this is literally all they had, and it was a display, so. I took it and the woman sold it to me. I actually use these to store my wicks underneath my shelf here. So you'll see like that. It's just for like easy access while I'm working. I can just kind of like grab things. And then I got five of these little plastic tub tubs. I thought this would be good for underneath my workbench. Um, I can put some of my like wick holders and everything in here. Oh, did I show you this? This is a shelf. Where's the picture? So this is a shelf that goes on the pegboard behind me. Um, it's just good to have to put like little things in, on top that you need to like quickly access. And two of these big jugs, which is basically the same as the other one that I just showed you, but a hundred times bigger. And they come with a nice little cover that goes right on top. So this way you don't have to see the mess. And I thought it would just help the shelf look a little neater than what it does now, because right now, that's what it looks like and everything's exposed and you can see it and I don't like the way that looks. So that's really all I got. Now I'm just gonna transfer everything into the new stuff I have and hopefully it looks good. It's not too much white. I wanted some color in here too, but it looks like I keep buying white. So maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> all right, let's go.
grab more. Oh my God, how good does that look? It's so clean and organized. I'm probably gonna get two more so I can put these extra wicks inside of them. I miscounted because I ended up using some of these for my lip balms and they kind of slide out easily. So it's perfect I have my wick holders here, tea lights, warning labels, and then in here, boom, lids. I am never running out of candle lids ever again. That happened to me one year. All of holiday season, I had no lids. So I'm debating whether or not if I should get more of these big ones so that I can put my fragrance oils in them. Um, just to make them look nicer because I don't like the way that looks. And I'm picky. So, but how cute do these look here? Right? With the, the wicker and the white shelves. I mean, I'm gonna use them for um, street fairs and things like that, but in the meantime, I feel like, what can I put in them to make them, to kind of like decorate the shelves? It looks so good. I don't know, but they're really cute. <laughs> Thank you. My little plant baby. And my press, what is it called? A press what? Press announcement or whatever. So we just got the most exciting package and I can't wait to show you. I am so excited. I swear I can't even open this fast enough. Oh my god, it looks so good already! Oh my god! Can you just look at how good this looks? I can't even deal. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I love the way it looks. It's so good. Oh my goodness. It's from this cute little shop on Etsy called Skyline Laser. Um, and they are fantastic. You send them a PDF or PNG of whatever logo or whatever item you want them to carve out. And they send you a photo proof of what it's actually gonna look like. Look at these details, like, just look at that. Oh my God, I'm so in love. All right, so now I just gotta figure out what to do with the other stuff that's up there because that's gonna look a bit crowded. Oh, and it didn't come with this thing here. I just have that from my little board here, but I guess until, if I decide whether or not, if I'm gonna actually hang it on the wall because she actually gives you hooks. Where did they go? Oh, here they are. So she gives you hooks so that you can attach it to the back. And then also this cute little thing. I don't know what this is. It has like a sticker. Like maybe if I had an office door, I would just stick it on my office door. Um, yeah, I gotta figure that out. And we gotta figure out what to do with this. Maybe the plant can stay up there. Let me see. If I just move this and leave the plant. That doesn't look bad. I will leave it. It looks so good.